I'm Jack Beck. During the time of Isaiah, the people of Judah's hill country claimed to have a relationship with the Lord that really wasn't supported at all by how they were living. He had the prophet Isaiah compose a poem, a, a song, if you will, Isaiah 5, the song of the vineyard. And the song goes on to speak about all the necessary steps and all the work that it takes in order to establish a vineyard here in Judah's hill country. And at the end, when the farmer expected to go to the vine and to find the grapes in which he invested so much time and energy, the vines were empty. And then Isaiah says, people of Jerusalem and Judea, you are that non-producing vine. That language that was designed to startle them into a new way of thinking and behaving unfortunately didn't work and God's people were carried away into exile. They came back and eventually in Bethlehem, Jesus was born. Now we know that Jesus, as he grew, spent most of his life in the north. But when he was back here in Judah's hill country, he once again began to talk about grapevines. He said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Do you hear the difference? In Isaiah 5, God's people of the past, Jerusalem, Judea, you are the vine and the branches, and you're not producing fruit. But Jesus now says, I am the vine, the major component here. You're the tendrils, you're the branches. If you stay connected to me, you will produce much fruit. Jesus has changed the image of the song of the vineyard. I'm the vine, you're the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will produce much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing.